Insta360 Studio 5.0. It's loaded with a bunch of new functionality, but is it a game changer? Let's find out. Okay, first thing to note, you have to go to Insta360's website and click the Downloads button. Click Insta360 Studio and actually manually download the Insta360 Studio application. You cannot update from your current version of the Insta360 Studio. All right, let's get into it. So the first tab is still your media tab and it works exactly like the previous version of the Insta360 Studio app. You've got your media over here. You can still do your auto framing, right? Um, this is a 10 second clip. It'll go through pretty quick and do that. And you know, you've got all your same old functionality over here. I'm not gonna give a whole tutorial on this. There are a bunch of great videos on the 360 app and the media functionality okay so now let's get to all the new cool features and functionality that's over here on this new project tab so i've already got my media brought in here all right i've got three clips and i already had it set up so what's new on here a bunch of new things right so very similar to the mobile application, you can now add transitions between your clips. You can do more than one clip, right? You can put a bunch of clips down onto this timeline here. And we can take something like a spin left or right. And we've now got a nice transition in here, right? So we've got our clip and we hit the transition and voila. And then we can keyframe, we can do whatever we want in the 360 clip which is pretty neat. We can come over and clip on the other thing. Look, we can make this a little bit bigger too, right? We can go up to a two second duration on the spin left and right. We've got special effects. We can, one thing to note is on a lot of these, you gotta click download first. Then you can actually drag and drop it in between your clip. And then same thing, we can come over here and we can make it two seconds, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So now we got this nice little transition and then we can come over here and we can keyframe and do whatever we want on our clip. The other thing which is pretty cool is if you come onto like one of your clips, this one happens to be one minute and eight seconds. If you start, you know, bringing it in, you can actually see how many seconds you're cutting off of the clip. So now it's down to a one minute clip. I just shaved off seven seconds about. Right? I can come over to here. I can do the same thing on this side and I can bring this in and I can say, oh, you know what? I want to make it a 30 second clip. Okay. Now I've got it down to a 30 second clip or so. And by shaving off 30 seconds and everything snaps back, right? Pretty neat. The other thing which is nice is there's all these really cool texts so you can add this thing summer yeah cool okay and i can come over here and say end of summer and we can do the same thing with this we can drag that out a little bit now we hit play and we'll hit the <clears throat> text i come up on the screen okay and we also have music so we can add a, a music track if we want right we just same thing you gotta hit the download button first it'll download it and then once it's downloaded then you can hit add and it'll add it into the track okay now one thing to note a lot of this music is copyright protected and it's not meant for youtube so if you're uploading to the Insta360 site, then you're good. But if you're uploading to YouTube, you could get copyright strikes if you use any of these um, audio clips. So I would not recommend using any of these audio clips if you're uploading to YouTube. So is the new Insta360 Studio 5.0 a game changer? I say, no, it's super cool, but it's not a game changer. And here's the reasons why. A, 
the auto framing is still not up to par with the mobile version of the Insta360 Studio app. The Insta360 Studio app on mobile is really cool. You get way better auto framing and clips out of the mobile app than you do with desktop. It's still auto framing, if you notice. It's not AI. So that's the first thing. Two, you only get one, two, three tracks to work with. One for text, one for video, and one for audio, one separate audio track. You still have your audio track in your video. So you can add a separate audio track, but you've only got three tracks, that's it. So if you wanna to cut to B-roll and things like that, there is no stacking video and stacking audio, things like that. You know, Even iMovie, you can do at least two tracks, right? You can do two video and two audio tracks. And D, and most importantly, what you cannot do still is take two 360 clips, right? This is a 360 clip, and this over here is a 360 clip. And I did add a transition here, but when you go to export this, it's reframed, right? It's still a reframed video. You still cannot export two 360 clips, tie them together, put a transition between them, and export it out as a 360 video. You cannot do that with the new version of Insta360 Studio 5.0. You still cannot do that. So if you want to do that, check out my DaVinci Resolve video, how to export 360 video from DaVinci Resolve, and there's the workaround on how to do that. And to all the people who watched that video, the 3,000 plus viewers that I have watching this video, and the uh, hundreds of thumbs up and all the comments and subscribers that subscribe based on that video and checking out my channel. Thank you. Until next time, Captain John, out.